Hey guys, welcome back. Long time no see. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, it is about time that I filmed and uploaded a video for you. Um, but also for me, like I love doing this. Um, sometimes I just go through these like weird phases where I just don't feel like uploading. And it's, it's funny because I've had more time than ever to film, but um, ever since like losing my job and being out of routine with like life, it's almost like I kind of gave up on some things and this is one of them. But, um, you know, YouTube and filming and talking about wax is something that I love to do and I love to talk about it and I love watching all of your videos and I think that it's, it's time for me to get back into it because, I mean, at the end of the day, it makes me happy to, to do. And, um, uh, yeah, so... Um, this is actually going to be part one of my empties, but I also just wanted to say hello. So, hello. Um, yeah, life has been very uneventful around here. Uh, like, very uneventful for me. Uh, your boy is still unemployed. I'm still looking for work. Um, it's taking a little bit longer than I wanted to. Um, so that sucks, but... Whenever I'm not, like, in my normal routine of, like, going to work and I've, you know, because I'm realizing I'm much more of a routine person than I realize or give myself credit for. Not that I deserve credit for it, but um, I'm realizing it more now than ever. And I think I started to realize it whenever I quit my career, um, whenever I was a flight attendant. Um, I know I've mentioned this multiple times to you guys, but I was a flight attendant uh, for American Airlines for four and a half years or five years-ish. I don't even remember, but um, yeah, I loved that job, but I hated that job. Um, kind of going back to like the routine thing for me, I you don't have a routine whenever you're a flight attendant, let me just say that much. But I love the aspect of it. I've always been an aviation geek. It's been, you know, an obsession of mine for many, many years. And um, I wanted to do something that at least once in my life, job-wise, that was in that field. And I, I always had this, like, I don't know, like, desire to at least try being a flight attendant. One thing led to a next, and um, I did it for four, four and a half years, something like that. And um, I had so much fun. I traveled all over the world. I met so many amazing people that I still talk to to this day, but um, my heart is here. I mean, I've lived in like, I've lived a lot of places, y'all. I've lived in Miami, I've lived in Denver, I lived in Queens, I lived in Dallas. <sighs> yeah, and I always come back here because I love it so much. I don't know why I'm getting off track, but yeah, so um, I'm realizing I'm much more of a routine type person and, and doing that was not suitable um, at all, actually. So um, I'm, it's, I don't know why I brought that up, but I think it's kind of like bringing me back to the time when I was unemployed after I quit flying. And you just, I don't want to say I've been in like a depression, but a little bit of a rut, kind of just like, what's my purpose? I mean, I know I have purpose like deep down and I know that I do. I have such amazing friends, including you guys and my family that give me support every day. Um, but, you know, whenever you're not doing your normal thing and things just kind of get out of whack, you just, it's like, what, what is there to do, you know? So, anyway. Um, but other than that, um, I'm doing pretty well. Kind of doing my same-o, same -o type thing. Um, I have a lot of videos that I want to upload um, and film, so I'm going to do that at some point. So, stay tuned for that. But um, I did just really want to pop on here and say hello and that I've missed you and that I'm sorry. 
Um, I can't promise that I might take another break at some point in my life. I mean, if I'm being completely real with y'all, <laughs> Um, I, you know, I consider myself to be a, a very blessed person in a lot of ways, in so many ways, more than I even realize. But, um, I've also considered myself to, I don't want to say I've had it easy, because, I mean, who's had it easy, really? But I feel like I've had a pretty, like, you know, like, my life has flowed through, Again, not easily, but I feel like I've been able to handle life pretty well. And this was a year for me for the books. I mean, <laughs> and I'm my problems, let me just make this clear, um, are zero compared to what other people have dealt with. I do, I'm not discrediting that, but based on my own personal experiences and the things that I've dealt with this year, it's like definitely a change of pace for me. You know, started the year off with my grandfather passing away and then um, my parents splitting up and I had reduced hours at work for a period of time. So I was a little bit stressed. And then, um, gosh, I mean, there's like so many other things too. Oh, um, and then I had to move out of a house that I spent so much time and energy on. Um, that's a long story, I'm not gonna get into that. So I had to move and I, it was just, you know, so, oh my gosh. I mean, I could go on and on. And there are other things that I would never talk about on my channel because it's just too personal of a stuff to share. But, um, you know, and now my parents divorce, it's just, you know, it's, it's things that I'm getting used to and I'm not saying that, you know, everything sucks or anything, but I mean, like I said, there's things beyond that that I can't really share on here, but yeah, there's just a lot been going on. So I feel like I've just been like, <gasps> you know, like what else can I do? Like what else can I handle? So, but, um, I'm, I'm really, I hope you guys know that I'm really not saying that, you know, my life sucks for me. Like, I'm not asking for sympathy whatsoever. Like, this is just life, you know? There's always something new. There's always something going on, like a bill or, you know, like that's just how it goes. And I'm realizing um, as I'm getting older, you know, I just turned 28, <laughs> which is crazy. I'm like, at this point, I'm like, I feel like I'm ready for 30. And I know I'm not like old, you know, like <laughs> whatever, but, you know, when you're young, you think, oh, that'll never happen to me. And it's like, yeah, it will. It's going to happen to you. Um, if you're lucky, right, to make it to that age. But yeah, I feel like I'm learning so much. And I don't know, I feel like my 20s have just been so much uh, about learning and about myself more than anything and self-confidence and self-worth and trying to figure out who I am and what I want and it's it's been it's been interesting to say the least <laughs> i'm not gonna lie but i think that's another you know beauty of life i know that sounds corny but it's true like you just kind of get to learn yourself and you're like oh okay this is actually what i want or this isn't what i want you know what i mean stuff like that so yeah but um I'm trying to think my my apartment is finally kind of coming together for the first time my my home space I should say in general for the first time in my life which I really don't consider like my life it that sounds kind of like far-fetched because I mean y'all know I was flying for so long I didn't really have a home so the last year almost a year and a half or so ish yeah like year and a half um i've actually like like i've only been living like by myself and having my own space for like a year and a half and it's so nice i mean duh like but it's just kind of fun to kind of make it your own and stuff and i'm finally getting like the things that i really want and i'm building furniture with my dad and I'm learning a lot and it's just been fun. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, it's been fun. So, 
But anyway, um, again, I just want to say thank you guys so much for reaching out. I know I have been the worst at commenting and watching videos and stuff. I don't just watch wax videos, but I just kind of, I don't know, I fell out of tune with reality and I'm realizing that this does mean a lot to me. So I do appreciate everybody so much. Um, I love you guys. I love this community, really. I mean, you know, it's, there's so many people that love the same thing and it's so fun that we can all come on here and talk about something that we have in common. You know, I mean, there's so many, everybody's so divided now in the world. It's like, let's just put that aside and talk about stuff that we do have in common and then we can get along. I don't know. You know what I mean? So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get started with some empties, but I did just want to say hello. So anyway, um, I'm going to start, I think I'm going to start with like non-wax. This is going to be so... You know what, I'm just gonna do, I'm just gonna label it like part one and part two because um, there's no way I can sort through all of this, you guys. It's been like over two months. Look at my basket. It is, oh my gosh. It makes me like kinda wanna throw up because there's so much in here. But I am think I'm gonna try to make it to like 25 minutes and then once we hit that point, I'm going to film this, upload it, and then I'm going to film part two. I think that's what I'm going to do. So let's get started. So I finished up some contact solution. How exciting. Oh, and I did want to mention, um, this is Sensi's Counter Clean in Blue Grotto. Um, I've never had this before in wax or in any form, actually. But um, I had it in the Counter Clean. It was amazing. I feel like this is like Sensi's version of the Capri Blue Volcano scent. I mean, they're not the same by any means, but it kind of re reminded me of that. Um, I did empty it out, cleaned it, and filled it up with water so I could spray the cats. Um, because I... That's like my new form of discipline. Not new, but I have to spray them. I mean, literally. I don't do it very often, but I mean, it's freaking water. Like, get over it, right? But I recently put flowers on my bar in my kitchen, and they like to eat them. It's like, no, this is for decoration. Okay, <laughs> anyways, um, I'm trying to weed through non-wax. I finished up Classic Flannel in Body Wash from BBW. It's fresh bergamot, patchouli spice, and sweet amber. Not a fan of that. I just don't like the scent. I don't like cologne scents for body wash. And then I did BBW Cocoa Paradise. This is salted coconut... Manoy, sugared neroli bronzed sandalwood. I give Carrie from Carrie's Collections all the credit in the world for getting me hooked on this. Also, shout out to Natalie for sending this to me in candle form because I was looking literally all over town for it. I'm not kidding you guys. I have like five or six Bath and Body Works locations within like a 15, 20 minute radius for me. None of them had this, so um, Natalie sent this to me in candle form and I ended up chopping it up because I love it so much and I didn't finish it. I'm going to save it for like next spring. So anyway, love that. Um, I have more car fresheners that I wanted to talk about, but this is a car freshener from a local store around here. It's literally my favorite store. It's the best like boutique gift shop literally in the world to me it's amazing but the brand is 46th state candle company it's a local company here um love their car fresheners this one was teakwood musk and high grass love that literally lasted in my uh, car for like three weeks no joke and i've been on the hunt for like good car fresheners i know that sounds silly but it's true um, I finished up a cologne. This is Ch Chanel Blue. This is the Parfum. Um, I'm pretty sure I bought, well, 1.7 ounces. I get the, I like to buy the Parfums, Parfum, whatever you want to say, because they are oil-based, I think is what it is. So they're going to last on your skin longer. I mean, this lasted me probably for five or six years. I'm not even kidding. Love Chanel Blue. I mean, I have a million colognes, but yeah, really enjoy that. 
Let's do Sensi because I feel like that's pretty easy for me to like get out of here. So I did Harbor's Edge. This one is beach grass, flowering raspberry, northern oak fern, crashing waves, and salty musk. If this video cuts off, I'm sorry. I'm just gonna have to like deal with it. I'm trying to make sure I have enough storage on my phone, so I'm just warning you guys. This was good. I wish that I had done this in like my bedroom bathroom over my open concept because this is definitely more of a bedroom bathroom scent. I definitely get why they say it's raspberry. It's like a sweet, slightly floral, slightly green aquatic sweetness from the raspberry. You know, y'all know what I mean. It was good. I didn't, it didn't like wow me, I guess, but it was okay. And then I did Enchanted Mist. Um, I think I got this like in a flash sale. I don't have the notes for it, but this was pretty. It was like a nice, like, Almost like a, you know, like that sparkling kind of note that you get. It was like that with like apple and pear kind of maybe. I don't know. It was almost kind of body care at the same time. It was pretty. I enjoyed it. Um, I would purchase that again. And then I did Looney Tunes. Um, I don't have the notes for this either. This is definitely like a very young, like kid-friendly, juvenile type of scent. It really smells like apple juice to me than anything else. I actually liked this. Like I liked it more than I was expecting to because I don't generally like fruity scents like this, like rainbow sherbet. I like, I don't love. I know they're not the same obviously, but um, this was good. I liked it. It performed like crazy good. So yeah, this I love. It's Ariel Under the Sea. What the hell? Where have I been? This is amazing. Thank you to Lacey for mentioning this because it's so good. And I know Susan likes that one. Um, I remember her saying like it drifted off into her like hallway area and I got the same exact experience. I'm not kidding. I used one cube in my bathroom each time I warmed it. So I got eight melts and it would last like a full 24 hours. It was amazing. Loved it. I recently did Scarlet Sunflower. This was really pretty. This was like a, so it, it had apple and pear in it, but there was like a, like an, an aged floral, like a dried out floral note to me. It was so pretty. I love that, would repurchase that one for sure. Lemon Drizzle Cake. Um, this was also really, really good. The notes are lilac, sugar, vanilla icing, and lemon butter cake. So I didn't necessarily pick out la lilac in here, but it was kind of, it was like a lemon bakery with like a pretty twist. Like it was like a pretty scent. I don't know. I loved it though. That was good. I will say it wasn't the best performer. Like it was good and strong, but it's not like it's going to last in your warmers all day long. That was just my experience, but I did enjoy it. Um, I did Plum and White Woods, Sweet Raspberry Preserves, Damson Plum, and Vanilla Orchid. This was a pretty, kind of like, berry, I guess plum, kind of body care type of scent. I got no performance from this except my bathroom. And it was pretty in the bathroom. I enjoyed it. Not a repurchase, but I mean, it was fine. Uh, Woodland Meadow. This is Woodland Wildflowers, Beautiful Forest Canopy, Air of Bergamot and Amber. This definitely smells like shaving cream. And I give credit to Lacey for mentioning that because I initially didn't think that. And then I warmed it and I was like, you're right, it does. Yes, it's, it's kind of like a high-end, slightly fragranced men's shaving cream. It was really good. I would purchase that again. It was nice. Okay, I'm really trying to not miss anything. Oh, shout out to Natalie. She sent me some Camu Camu. I have always enjoyed Camu Camu, but I've never been super impressed by performance as far as longevity literally lasted all day in my warmers like a nine out of ten loved it so good love camu camu 
but I've heard mixed reviews from people of saying that it's not, you know, the best performer. I'm sorry, I'm looking in here to find Sensi, but I think that's it. So let's do clams, why not? Um, I did this yesterday. It's Frosted Vanilla Cupcake from Target, like the Threshold brand. It's notes of strawberry and candy sprinkles. Uh, yeah, it was okay. I am finding a lot of the Target melts. It's very, it's like 50-50 for me. Um, this one I did like. Seaside Driftwood um, with notes of marine moss and cedar. This was good. It's kind of like a high-end clean scent. Really pretty. I enjoyed that actually. Um, I would maybe purchase that again. It was good. Maui Driftwood from Sensationals. This was a new one for me. It says amber and coconut. Okay, funny. You guys are gonna think I'm a freak. Like why would anybody like this? But you know when you're like staying at a hotel on the beach, like on vacation, and you're staying at one of those resorts or hotels that is like the lobby and like, and like the lobby and stuff is like open to the beach basically. So it's not like you open a door to go in the lobby. Everything's just kind of open and stuff. And people are walking around after they've been on the beach and they've got like sand all over their feet. <laughs> That's what this reminds me of. It's kind of like that musky, sandy feet smell. <laughs> I mean, I don't smell feet, but y'all kind of get my idea. It's kind of like a salty sea air mixed with sandy shores kind of scent. I really like that. It really kind of brought me back to being on vacation, which speaking of vacations, I need to go on one like yesterday. Okay, Sensationals Iced Lemon Sugar Cookies. This has been a favorite of mine for like ever, literally. I'll always repurchase it as long as it's available. Such a good summertime bakery scent. It's one of the more authentic smelling bakery scents I've had, um, especially when it comes to like retail. Okay, I'm sorry. I finished up Wildflower Dreams from Sensationals. This smelled like shit. Like hot wax mixed with shit, basically. No thanks. I did Better Homes and Gardens, Pineapple and Peach. It says Pineapple, Peach, Grapefruit, Starfruit, and Ripe Berries. This is not something that I would really be interested in, but I really liked it. It was actually a nice scent. Really enjoy that. Okay, I got this at an antique stop, shop, store, local here in town. Um, they sell clams for like literally $2 a piece. And they're very hit or miss, I'm going to be honest. But I picked up the Volcano type Capri Blue dupe. Smells just like it on cold. I got zero performance. So like I said, I'm noticing like those are just very hit or miss. Another Target. Uh, clam I did is pink cotton candy. This is notes of strawberry and lemon. Um, it was okay. And it was definitely strawberry and lemon. I don't know where they got the pink cotton candy, but, um, it reminded me of strawberry twist from Sassy Girl Aroma. So if you like that, I would recommend it. Okay. Mainstays Lagoon Waterfalls, uh, green mango and tropical marine. Yeah, it's fine. It was good. I liked it. I, you know, it didn't, you know, do anything nuts for me. Uh, from the bathing garden, I did fizzing lavender soda. Thanks to Scott for sending this to me. I would have purchased this on my own because I love fizzy lavender scents, but this was a big no for me. It was very light, but it was like a, it smelled to me like grape flavored Tums. So was a big no for me. Not a fan. That's just fine though. Okay, I recently went to Dallas with my mom. Uh, we stayed the night in Dallas, went shopping um, over Labor Day weekend. And we had to go to Bucky's because she's never been to Bucky's. Shout out to Carrie. Um, I saw she got this warmer, you can see right here. And ever since I saw her show that warmer, I was like, I gotta get one. And my dad was like, I wanna get you something 
when you're in Dallas. So I got that warmer and I love it, you guys. It's Candle Warmers brand performing so well. It gets hot, it melts wax, retail vendor, everything. Sorry, someone's alarm is going off. Love it. Anyway, so love that warmer. Um, I've already decorated for fall. So anyway, so I the, I know Bucky's sells. Um, you guys, I might get cut off. I'm just going to be honest. I don't know how long this video is going to go, but I might try to make it to 30 minutes. Um, Bucky's sells the Swan Creek melts, and they also sell um, this brand, Fredericksburg Farms. So funny story, a very close friend of mine, oh, I thought it ended. A very close friend, friend of mine, her mom and her family run this company actually. And um, it, I don't even know how that got brought up like years ago. Oh, I think they had, cause they had the car freshies, I think. And her and I were talking about it anyway. So they sell wax melts. These are two and a half ounces and they retail at Bucky's for $3.99. Like I said, Fredericksburg Farms. So this is Texas Blue Bonnet. This is not a scent I think people would, you know, be like, wow, you've got to try it. But it's a really nice, like just very clean laundry scent. Like, like Carrie, if you're watching this, I don't think you would probably like that. But, you know, I like those scents, especially when I'm, like, cleaning my house and stuff. But that did amazing, performed well, really enjoyed that. I think I've had it before, so, yeah. Okay, Super Tarts, I did Candy Bag, Sweet and Tart Candy, Watermelon Hard Candy, Sponge Sugar, Buttercream, and Candy Bin. This has been a repurchase for me from Super Tarts for many years, um, Y'all know I'm not purchasing from Super Tarts anymore. It's nothing personal. It's just like from a consumer standpoint, I don't want to like, you know, be played with because it's like, you know, if you want to have a successful business, I'm probably going to be saying too much. So I'm probably going to get canceled. But I don't know, like you would, great. Um, the cat's probably knocked over something. Um, you know, when you're wanting a successful business and you want to run things right, you would think that your customers would be a priority. I just don't really get that vibe with super tarts. I'm sorry. I'm just going to say it. Um, so I've just, I've distanced myself from ordering from her and I probably won't ever again, if I'm being honest. So love this scent. I wouldn't purchase it again, but I love it. I love, I think Super Tarts has some of the best wax out there. I'm not going to lie. Um, okay, one more empty of clams. So I was at least able to do body care and clams in this video. I did Perfect from Super Tarts. Pear, strawberry, and ginger ale. Love this too. I'm telling you guys, Super Tarts was one of my favorite vendors. I'm sad about it, but it is what it is. You know, I really wish her the best and at the end of the day. I know, like, you got to do what's best for you. So, um, I wish her well, but, I mean, I'm, I'm just not going to be purchasing from her anymore. Literally went through two band bags of Perfect. It's one of my favorites. Love it. Okay, that's it. That's all I'm going to do tonight. <laughs> really appreciate you guys watching. Um, I'm going to film part two probably tomorrow. <laughs> Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to risk my storage getting too full, and I know it's going to take overnight for this video to upload, which gives me another reason to think in my head I shouldn't be taking this long to film, um, which means that I need to get uploading more regularly. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. I'll see you in my next one. Take care. Bye.